I could stand in the king courts one day in your presence. Your king's meat isn't going to make me feel like royalty. Because even when I'm in that lion's den, I'm going to keep on praying because I'd rather have Jesus than houses or land. The other stands up. I get ready, sister. You've you got to help me out again. I'd rather have Jesus than men's applause. I'd rather be sold out to his dear cause. Yeah. You better get ready to eat. Oh, I was telling you about the queen who told her husband, King Belshazzar, there is one. And guess what? He has an excellent spirit. And I can preach another ten minutes on that, so don't get me going. He's not bitter. He didn't cop an attitude. He's not depressed. For whatever reason, the hand of God is resting upon him. He's ready for duty. He has knowledge and understanding. In the midst of the days and the haze and the fog and the smog, he possesses this God given. But it's not just the natural knowledge. It's not just he was trained in the sciences, but he was so far beyond the great minds of his day because of a sense of perception that he could see what could not be seen. Without a vision, you'll perish. I'm looking for a day that hasn't dawned in my life yet. But I'm going to tell you, it's going to happen to me because my future is going to be better than my past. I know you see me right now walking around and feeling, I can't do this and I can't do that. I know the kind of smack you're talking about me, how that I had to become a eunuch and I've gone through this and somebody has even said that that little orphan will cry himself to sleep. But I've got a perception that God has given me. I see by, Abra by faith Abraham rejoiced to see my day. Oh, hold that, Jim. I don't do good with notes. Got to get the chapter here. Daniel 5. And in verse 13. Then was Daniel brought in before the king. Get ready for it. They couldn't talk it out of him. They couldn't cut it out of him. They couldn't torture it out of him. And the lions couldn't eat it out of him. And the king's meat couldn't tempt it out of him. Can I, should I continue reading here? Then was Daniel brought in before the king, and the king speak unto Daniel. Remember, all through the story, you have Daniel, who was Belteshazzar. But something happened. Not only did he continue through the kingdoms of Nebuchadnezzar, Belshazzar, Darius, all the way to Cyrus, where they had the emancipation, those in exile. He held on to something that could not be. Kayla, you've got to hold on to it. Dathy, you've got to hold on to it. Forgive me for using my kids as an example, but... I used to take him on a bus. I paid dearly for that bus. And I paid dearly to pay it off when I sold it. But I don't have any regrets. I got a nice house right now. It's real comfy, but I'll tell you what, Terry, if they go on the road with me again, if we can negotiate college by video or whatever, if they ever came and said we want to go, I'd sell that house in West Point and I'd hit the road. Because there's something more powerful and more meaningful me than the tangible, temporal, visible world that surrounds me. I'm in the world, but I'm not of the world. Are you good pupils? I wonder if I was to read this next part, if you honest to goodness get it, would you clap your hands? If you don't, don't clap your hands, and I will not judge you as being juveniles in school. Then was Daniel brought before the king, and the king said to Daniel, it is indicative here of this. This is what's written between the lines. It didn't work. 
We couldn't talk it out of you. We couldn't tempt it out of you. We couldn't beat it out of you. Okay, I'll say it. Here it is. Then he said to Daniel, I know Daniel! You might as well learn, King. You can pin it on me, but it doesn't work. It's just a cover-up. It's just a facade. You're trying to put something on me to hide who I really am. But under it all, come back to the music, please. I don't know what you feel, but there's no pressure. Whatever you do will be the best. Whatever you do will do to be the best. I know who I am. I might be out, down, in, out, rich, poor, sick, or healthy, but I know who I am. I'm never going to forget who I am. But does anybody know what Daniel means? Crank up the sound. Does anybody here know what Daniel means? It means God is my judge. Kingdoms shall try to rule over me. Tyrants and dictators shall try to suppress me. But there's a God who sits high. He's numbered every hair on my head. My name is etched in the palm of his hand. No weapon formed against me can prosper. My day's coming. The wheels of justice grind slowly but surely. Payday someday. Kingdoms are going to rise and kingdoms are going to fall. But my God is going to bring me through. Daniel, God is my judge. Lift your hands and praise in the night. Let's stand together. Hallelujah! 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 I want you to step out by faith and walk to the front of this church as a confirmation to Almighty God that you are committed. No matter what the devil's brought against you, I'm taking off Belshazzar, I'm Daniel, and God is my judge. And I am committed to the things of God. Don't anybody leave unless you have to. Just get as close as you can get. Come on to the front after that great message. And let God just speak to you tonight. Come on down, young people. Keep moving that aisle. That's it. Those of you all, just push the person in front of you a little bit. Get them as close as you can to the front. Just a commitment to God. Here I am, Lord. Here I am, Jesus. 